Hello everyone, I am Ajay and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are once again back with one more video and um, today we are going to solve some of the DBMS questions and if you are seeing this video which means you already joined this group and this group is mainly for not just for NVTK and hack with NP but also for all other off-campus updates you can check the YouTube channel and you can check the previous videos posted by us we have uploaded like thousands of opportunities thousands of job opportunities and many students placed through our channel so do this do join this link for more updates so yeah before coming with a question so i just have one suggestion for today um so it's been like a i guess like a one week or something uh, since the videos are posting so uh, just don't wait for the solution of the question which we are going to discuss so when you see when the question get popped up in the screen just pause the video solve it on your own and check whether the answer is correct or not after now uh, one after you play the video again but once uh, until unless you check whether you are correct or not and until unless you evaluate yourself you cannot understand how much you know about such some uh, about some concept so i would just recommend you to pause the video solve it on your own then again play video and check the answer then only you'll get to know how much exactly you need to prepare for the infotech okay so let's jump to the first question which of the following statements are true about distinct keyword okay distinct keyword maybe uh, many of them used distinct as a name suggests so distinct means kind of unique so and it, it works in the same way that is to remove the duplicates it just gives the unique result okay choose any two so it means that uh, we have two answers here fine distinct keyword can be used in select and where causes okay no uh, because where is there and distinct removes duplicate based on column immediately after no it doesn't uh, remove duplicates based on column it just removes the duplicate it doesn't have any condition that it just removes the duplicates of certain columns only so even this statement is wrong distinct removes duplicates based on all the columns in the select clause yes that's the correct thing because it removes all the columns that is all the duplicates using a distinct should be avoided as far as per due to performance issue yeah because there are there are like n number of duplicates and if you are just compiling it to one and like generally when we are doing for a normal five row data or ten row data it doesn't affect but if you are doing for uh, like a thousand millions of rows of data then it might affect the performance that's why distinct should be avoided so option three and four are the correct answer for this question I hope uh, you pause the video and check your answer. So let's jump to the next question. Consider table um, EMP. Okay, name comma salary. Select name uh, from EMP where salary between thousand and two thousand. The above query will display the names from employee pools. Okay, Achha. so it doesn't mean it just means that you uh, it's checking. Uh, whether you actually know the meaning of between or not because you can see it's greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater than or equal to less than and all now the between is nothing but when you do thousand and two thousand or any value that is x and y between x and y then we are checking whether value is greater than or equal to x and whether value is less than or equal to y or not that is option two whether salary is greater than equal to thousand and salary is less than equal to two thousand or not okay next jump to the next question consider the following table structure and content of student table so we have a student table okay this is the structure id not null name bar care gender can gender in m gender in mff which means that uh, this access only either m character or f camera nothing more than that and dog that is date default system date okay which of the following update statements will execute successfully okay uh, fine so uh, this is to check whether you whether you actually know what's the meaning of not and we actually know what's the meaning of in in this one so all the uh, mainly for the syntax or small basic concept this is for checking that so if we come to the option update student set gender equal to male no we can you can see you can it just allow m or f and even the cat has just one size so this is wrong update student get gender equal to x no we already discussed it's m and f x cannot be allowed this is also wrong. update student set id where id equal to null which clearly mentioned that id is not null so 
that's the meaning of not null. Not null means uh, null values will not be accepted in this column. So even this option is wrong. So by default, this option is correct. But even che uh, let's check this. Update student side gender equal to F. Yes, it's accepted. DOG equal null. See here, not null is not given. Default is given. So it, it can accept null. So even this null is acted in DOG. Where name equal to allies. Yes. So option four is a correct statement they, it will not cause any errors and it will update the queries uh, update the row successfully so the fourth one is the answer for this now in the next one which of the following columns in a table cannot be updated okay date type columns of the table no date can be updated right uh, we see in the previous question right even this is a date type uh, where is the cursor yeah even this is a date type we are updating with a null if not null we can update with any of the date value so any of the time anything we can update it so date type column values we can update it so this is option is wrong columns which allows null values in a table of course if it's allows null value it can allow any kind of value so this can be updated with a we are asked cannot be updated so even this option is wrong and primary key column which also you can see both these both are wrong and these are all the above these two are wrong then definitely all the above is uh, wrong so by default option c is correct so, but let's check it a primary key column which also serves as a foreign key difference in another table yes see it's a primary key and it's also serving as a foreign key in another table if you are trying to update one uh, kind of like data here this uh, data will affect the other table so because of that database won't allow such operation you can try to code it if you have a foreign key uh, reference to uh, another table you cannot uh, update the now what you call data until unless you unlink or unreference the uh, foreign key to the table so the correct answer for this will be the third option come to the fifth question okay consider the following quotation table how many rows should be displayed when the following query is executed okay item called count of star okay good group by so group by supplement just focus on the first one supplement uh, supply supply id and item code Check the supply ID 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be repeated to. So we just have 4. So answer is second option 4. You can, can try to solve in other approaches as well. But if the final answer will be 4 itself. Mm, coming to the sixth question. Yes, okay, so yeah. Given the employee table as input, choose the query that produces the following output. Okay. So. Oh, yeah this is the output we got and this is a table so we need to find the query which would result in this output okay fine so we have e name manager okay three columns id e name and manager select e1 dot name reports to e2 dot manager see this is name reports to this is name so uh, reports to the left and right both say name should come that is e name should come whatever query it is it cannot be manager but it has mentioned as e2 dot manager so this option is wrong you can you can check other options here also e2 dot manager you can remove this so by elimination two options are already eliminated we just with the second one okay select e1 dot e name or uh, sorry that is come uh, it is for concatenation reports to e2 dot e name reporting from uh, okay employee e1 inner join employee e2 on e1 dot id equal to e2 dot manager so one equal to one means um, see this one id will be equal to e2 dot manager means every time uh, so only one will be printed that is ethan magati reports to uh, emily ryan something like that but uh, we want this to be uh, reported to Ethan May and then MC Cathy. So somewhat I'm not able to pronounce that. Okay, this will be reference to this uh, report to this one. So that's nothing but the opposite with one. That is fourth option. So the fourth option is correct for the sixth question. And the seventh question, given the employee table as input, which of the following query displays the department that have more than one employees? Okay. Uh, okay so this question is to check whether you know the uh, uh the basic logic about group by and having clause okay 
so when group is there where is where it should not come it should be having here we have just group by department count count will count is not necessary because we just want the count, count uh, greater than one group by having so option three is one correct answer here also again count group by after having call you know, no even this is wrong so uh, option three is the correct answer you can see exactly for the as per the syntax it's grouping by the department and also checking whether the count of the department is greater than one or equal to one that is the same question it's place department that have more than one employees that is it's uh, grouping the department and the count of stars will give the some kind uh, kind of frequencies so in the frequency whichever frequency is greater than one that is more than one employees it's just reading up so option three is the correct answer for this what is the true regarding uh, independent subquery uh, you know the subquery right uh, subquery means if the, if this is a query which has like select star from so on so table where id equal to and one more select from etc etc so this inner one is a subquery and this is the outer query so they are asking what is a true independent subquery independent subquery means nothing but this variables or this references doesn't like come uh, have, doesn't have any reference to the outer subquery. Let's check um, um, equity operator can only be used if subquery returns only one row. Yes. See, uh, as I mentioned here, where ID, same where. If you are doing something and uh, doing any operation or any condition, and if you want to check with any column, and if you do equal to, then we should make sure that this value returned from the equal to that is from the sub query is just a single value because equal to will just accept a single value but if it has a multiple rows it will re uh, result in a error that uh, there are two or more one or more uh, rows being returned so option one is the correct one and in operator can be used if sub query returns multiple rows yeah so the alternative for this will be the in operator where it can be uh, handled for multiple rows Suppose we have like um, select ID from uh, employee where age in and there will there may be some range or there may be some like kind of uh, set of rows and wherever the age is satisfied all that ID will be listed out. But if you just use the equal to you can you just need to keep like age equal to so and so like. 25 something so only the 25 age will be retrieved so in can be used for multiple data that is multiple rows so option 2 is also correct answer equity operator can be used if subquery returns multiple rows this is the opposite of first question we already discussed so option 3 is wrong so from the options option 4 that is both 1 and 2 is correct yes come to the ninth question consider the below table with the data okay we have employee number employee name department number Select e name from EMP where department member called max of department number. Okay, so this is for it's kind of a trick question, and because of that, now if you have paused and solved the question, you will assume that max of department number, so you'll just do a maximum. So the maximum element will be 30. So what whatever 30 department that is one, two, three. So three rows will be returned, and you will think three three uh, three rows is a right answer, but no, this is a wrong answer correct answer is error because equality max of uh, department number this aggregation operator it doesn't support in this format if you want to use a max in this so we need to follow certain syntax like employee e name let's assume this whole statement is present here then equal to again select max of department number and from uh, employee table and close the sub query then this will return a max value from the query this value will be checked with the equity operator and based on the equity operator condition it will result the uh, rows if this syntax been followed then the three rows is the correct answer but as this syntax is not followed directly aggregation is used this would result in error so the answer for this will be error yes so coming to the last question for today's video 
again the independence of query yes I, I talked about independence of query where uh, the inner subquery doesn't have any link or any reference with the outer subquery so the inner and outer query are uh, two different tables no the inner query has no reference to the outer subquery yes the inner and outer queries are for the same tool but with different condition not exactly it can be of any kind of condition there is no limit to that so even this is wrong now the first one that is kind of like a definition for the independent subquery that is the inner query has no reference to the outer query so those are the 10 questions and uh, if you can observe and i hope you calculated and i mean i mean you pause the videos and solve the questions on your and you can calculate the uh, how much score you got out of 10 you can know how, at which place you are at at which position you are at and know how much you are exactly need to improve only few days are left so just prepare well it's your first opportunity just do well all the best thank you